Hello everyone, I pray that the peace of Christ is with all of us here today at the Good Book Project this Friday, September the 8th in the year of our Lord 2023. Here at this channel in our Chronological Bible in a Year video podcast that we have been doing since January the 1st, praise God. We have reached day 251. Yesterday for day 250, we continued on in the book of Ezekiel where we read about the Lord now speaking out against the irresponsible shepherds of Israel on how they were leading the sheep all astray. Now, this is a symbol for the leaders of Israel and the princes of Israel and the religious leaders and elders who were leading the people away from the Lord. The Lord describes himself as the perfect shepherd because he is the perfect God, being the perfect shepherd for Israel on how he would take care of them. There is judgment pronounced on Mount Seir and all of its cities, as well as the Lord promising to renew and exalt his people, Israel, in the time to come, after judgment. And for today, day 251, we continue on in the book of the prophet Ezekiel, beginning today with chapter 37. I will pray us into the word for today, and we will get right into it. O oh, gracious and holy Father, we come before your throne today in the mighty name of Jesus, just thanking you for bringing us to the end of the work week. Thank you for your provision and constant goodness and mercies in our lives. Lord, as we go throughout your word today, we ask for heavenly guidance, wisdom, and understanding. So we know what you want us to read. We hear what you want to tell us through your perfect word. And help us thread all of this story together perfectly. We ask for all these things in the mighty name of Jesus, and we all say, Amen. For today, day 251, we continue on in the book of the prophet Ezekiel, beginning with chapter 37. And we're going to do this as we always do, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Word of God reads, Ezekiel 37, the Lord's hand was on me, and he brought me out in the Lord's spirit, and set me down in the middle of the valley, and it was full of bones. He caused me to pass by them all around, and behold, they were very many in the open valley, and behold, they were very dry. He said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? I answered, Lord God, you know. Again he said to me, Prophesy over these bones, and tell them, You dry bones, hear the Lord's word. The Lord God says to these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and you will live. I will lay sinews on you, and will bring up flesh on you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you will live. Then you will know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded. As I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, there was an earthquake. Then the bones came together, bone to its bone. I saw, and behold, there were sinews on them, and flesh came up, and skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, Prophesy to the wind, prophesy, son of man, and tell the wind, the Lord God says, Come from the four winds, breath and breathe on these slain, that they might li may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood up on their feet, an exceedingly great army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, Our bones are dried up, and our hope is lost. We are completely cut off. Therefore prophesy and tell them, the Lord God says, Behold, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves, my people, and I will bring you into the land of Israel. You will know that I am the Lord when I have opened your graves and caused you to come up out of your graves, my people. I will put my spirit in you and you will live. Then I will place you in your own land and you will know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it says the Lord God, says the Lord. The Lord's word came again to me, saying, You, son of man, 
Take one stick and write on it, for Judah and for the children of Israel his companions. Then take another stick and write on it, for Joseph the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel his companions. Then join them for yourself to one another in one stick, that they may become one in your hand. When the children of your people speak to you, saying, Won't you show us what you mean by these? Tell them, The Lord God says, Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the tribes of Israel his companions, and I will put them with it, with the stick of Judah, and make them one stick, and they will be one in my hand. The sticks on which you write will be in your hand before your eyes, before their eyes. Say to them, The Lord God says, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from amongst the nations where they have gone, and will gather them on every side, and bring them into their own land. I will make them one nation in the land, on the mountains of Israel. One king will be king to them all. They will no longer be two nations. They won't be divided into two kingdoms any more at all. They won't defile themselves any more with their idols, nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions. But I will save them out of all their dwelling places in which they have sinned, and will cleanse them. So they will be my people, and I will be their God. My servant David will be king over them. They all will have one shepherd. They will also walk in my ordinances and observe my statutes and do them. They will dwell in the land that I have given to Jacob, my servant, in which your fathers lived. They will dwell therein, they and their children, and their children's children forever. David, my servant, will be their prince forever. Moreover, I will make a covenant of peace with them. It will be an everlasting covenant with them. I will place them, multiply them, and will set my sanctuary amongst them forevermore. My tent also will be with them. I will be their God, and they will be my people. The nations will know that I am the Lord who sanctifies, sanctifies Israel, when my sanctuary is amongst them forevermore. Ezekiel 38 The Lord's word came to me, saying, Son of man, set your face towards Gog, of the land of Magog, the prince of Rosh, Meshech, and Tubal, and prophesy against him. And say, The Lord God says, Behold, I am against you, Gog, prince of Rosh, Meshech, and Tubal. I will turn you around and put hooks into your jaws, and I will bring you out, with all your army, horses, and horsemen, all of them clothed in full armor, a great company with buckler and shield, all of them handling swords. Persia, Cush, and Put will with them, all of them with shield and helmet. Gomer and all his hordes. The house of Togarma in the uttermost part, parts of the north, and all his hordes, even many peoples with you. Be prepared, yes, prepare yourself, you and all your companies who are assembled to you, and be a guard to them. After many days you will be visited. In the latter years you will come into the land that is brought back from the sword, that is gathered out of many peoples, on the mountains of Israel, which have been a continual waste. But it is brought out of the peoples, and they will dwell securely, all of them. You will ascend. You will come like a storm. You will be like a cloud to cover the land, you and all your hordes, and many peoples with you. The Lord God says it will happen in that day that things will come into your mind and you will divine an evil plan. You will devise an evil plan. You will say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages. I will go to those who are at rest, who dwell securely, all of them dwelling without walls and having neither bars nor gates, to take the plunder and to take the prey, to turn your hand against the waste places that are inhabited and against the people who are gathered out of the nations, who have gotten livestock and goods, who dwell in the middle of the earth, Sheba, 
Dedan, and the merchants of Tarshish, with all its young lions, will ask you, Have you come to take the plunder? Have you assembled your company to take the prey, to carry away silver and gold, to take away livestock and goods, to take away, to take great plunder? Therefore, son of man, prophesy and tell Gog, The Lord God says, In the day when my people Israel dwells securely, will you not know it? You will come from your place out of the uttermost parts of the north, you and many peoples with you, all of them riding on horses, a great company, and a mighty army. You will come up against my people Israel as a cloud to cover the land. It will happen in the latter days that I will bring you against my land, that the nations may know me when I am sanctified in you, Gog, before their eyes. The Lord God says, Are you he of whom I spoke in old time by my servants, the prophets of Israel, who prophesied in those days for years that I would bring you against them? It will happen in that day when Gog comes against the land of Israel, says the Lord God, that my wrath will come up into my nostrils. For in my jealousy and in my fire of in the fire of my wrath I have spoken. Surely in the day there will be a great shaking in the land of Israel, so that the fish of the sea, the birds of the sky, the animals of the field, all creeping things who creep on the earth, and all the men who are on the surface of the earth will shake at my presence. Then the mountains will be thrown down. The steep places will fall, and every wall will fall to the ground. I will call for a sword against him to all my mountains, says the Lord God. Every man's sword will be against his brother. I will enter into judgment with him, with pestilence and with blood. I will rain on him, on his hordes, and on the many peoples who are with him, torrential rains with great hailstones, fire and sulfur. I will magnify myself and sanctify myself, and I will make myself known in the eyes of many nations. Then they will know that I am the Lord. Ezekiel 39 You, son of man, prophesy against Gog, and say, The Lord God says, Behold, I am against you, Gog, prince of Rosh, Meshech, and Tubal. I will turn you around, will lead you on, and will cause you to come up from the uttermost parts of the north, and I will bring you onto the mountains of Israel. I will strike your bow out of your left hand, and will cause your arrows to fall out of your right hand. You will fall on the mountains of Israel you and all your hordes and the peoples who are with you i will give you to the ravenous birds of every sort and to the animals of the field to be devoured you will fall in the on the open field for i have spoken it says the lord god i will send a fire on magog and on those who dwell securely in the islands then they will know that i am the lord i will make my holy name known amongst my people israel I won't allow my holy name to be profaned any more. Then the nations will know that I am the Lord, the Holy One in Israel. Behold, it comes, and it will be done, says the Lord God. This is the day about which I have spoken. Those who dwell in the cities of Israel will go out and will make fires of the weapons and burn them, both the shields and the bucklers, the bows and the arrows, and the war clubs and the spears and they will make fires with them for seven years, so that they will take no wood out of the field, and not cut down any out of the forests. For they will make fires with the weapons. They will plunder those who plundered, who plundered them, and rob those who robbed them, says the Lord God. It will happen in that day that I will give to Gog a place for burial in Israel, the valley of those who pass through on the east of the sea and it will stop those who pass through. They will bury Gog and all his multitude there, and they will call it the Valley of Haman Gog. The house of Israel will be burying them for seven months, that they may cleanse the land. Yes, all the people of the land will bury them, and they will become famous in that day that I will be glorified, says the Lord God. 
they will set apart men of continual employment who will pass through the land. Those who pass through will go with those who bury those who remain on the surface of the land to cleanse it. After the seven, after the end of seven months, they will search. Those who search through the land will pass through. And when anyone sees a man's bone, they will set up, then he will set up a sign by it under the un until the undertakers have buried it in the valley of Haman Gog. Hemona will also be the name of the city. Thus they will cleanse the land. You, son of man, the Lord God says, speak to the birds of every sort and to every animal of the field. Assemble yourselves and come. Gather yourselves on every side to my sacrifice that I sacrifice for you, even a great sacrifice on the mountains of Israel, that you may eat meat and drink blood. You shall eat the flesh of the mighty and drink the blood of the princes of the earth, of rams, of lambs, and of goats, of bulls, all of them fatlings of Bashan. You will eat fat until you are full and drink blood until you are drunk of my sacrifice which I have sacrificed for you. You shall be filled at my table with horses and charioteers, with mighty men, and with all men of war, says the Lord God. I will set my glory amongst the nations, then all the nations will see my judgment that I have executed and my hand that I have laid on them. So the house of Israel will know that I am the Lord their God from that day and forward. The nations will know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity, because they trespassed against me, and I hid my face from them. So I gave them into the hand of their adversaries, and they all fell by the sword. I did to them according to their uncleanness and according to their transgressions. I hid my face from them. Therefore the Lord God says, Now I will reverse the captivity of Jacob, and have mercy on the whole house of Israel. I will be jealous for my holy name. They will forget their shame and all their trespasses by which they have trespassed against me when they dwell securely in their land. No one will make them afraid when I have brought them back from the peoples, gathered them out of their enemies' lands, and am shown holy amongst them in the sight of many nations. They will know that I am the Lord their God, and that I caused them to go into captivity amongst the nations, and have, ga have gathered them to their own land. Then I will leave none of them captive any more. I won't hide my face from them any more, for I have poured out my spirit on the house of Israel, says the Lord God. Thank you, Lord, for your holy word. We have a lot going on in our reading today. We read in the beginning of a valley where the Lord brings Eid, the prophet Ezekiel that has just dry bones all over the place. And there's many dry bones in the field. And the Lord prophesies to tell these dry bones to live and to come alive. And if you read, the prophet Ezekiel says, I had done as he had commanded me. So he tells them to live and they an earthquake happens and they all come together. And then without with flesh back on and skin, and then the Lord says to prophesy that the winds would come and then the breath of life enters them all again. And the Lord says that this will be the Israel when I bring them out of their dry bones, when they are when they think that they are all dead and that they have turned away from the Lord, the Lord will renew them when they turn their face to him. We also read of the land of Gog, which the Lord brings judgment against. And Gog and Magog, we have that they will attack Israel, but then the Lord will sustain Israel, and then the they will lose a battle when they are attacked. When Israel is attacked, Gog will lose. We also read that because the judgment of the Lord is on Gog, there will be a burial for them that will take place in the land of Israel when the Lord brings them out for their defeat. And because he had pronounced this judgment on them and its allies for all of the ways on Gog, then the Lord will have a triumphant festival when Gog is defeated. And the Lord will then bring everyone from the Israelites and the people of Judah and Jerusalem 
at the end, when the Lord has sustained them the entire way, he will bring them all back into their land. He will bring them and they will have a festival and they will no longer profane the Lord's holy name. And they will serve him in spirit and in truth. And he will forgive their trespasses and their transgressions against him. So we're reading today of the Lord constantly being the restorer of Israel and reminding the prophet Ezekiel to remind the people that he is their restorer. So to look to him, the faithful remnant, and the Lord will restore them after he had, he was the one he pointed out, caused them to go into captivity for all of their transgressions and to be cut down by the sword. But now, once judgment has been passed, then he will restore the people of Israel. And with that, day 251 is complete, and I'm so happy you were able to make it out today to complete the work week in the Lord's Word. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And if you have, please hit the notification bell so you can get a notification for every single time one of our videos goes up. And also share this on any and all of your social media, please, so we could get this word out there to as many people as possible, the transformative word of God. I will pray us out of the word for today, and we will go throughout the rest of our day. O oh, gracious and holy Father, we come before you again in the mighty name of Jesus, just thanking you for letting us go through your word just one more day. Thank you for making dry bones live. Thank you for in seasons where we think there's no way out, you are our restorer. You lift us up and you tell us to breathe and live and live in you. Help us be more like you and live the way that you want us to live according to your word, Lord. And as we go throughout the rest of the day, we ask that this word remains on our mind so we can continue to thread this story all together. We dedicate this day to you and ask you to bless it so we could be blessed and have, by that extension, be a blessing to others. Help us be a reflection of you, the one true God, in all that we do, so people can be enticed to know what is different, and we can tell them we serve the one true God and invite them. Help us be bold for the gospel and never be ashamed and help us speak out and help us be in the word at all times so we could use the word to evangelize people. We ask for all these things, blessing your name, the name of the Father, the name of the Son, and the name of the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, and we all say, Amen. Day 252 is tomorrow and I can't wait for you to return for it. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance toward you and give you peace. <laughs>